أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وموالاه أحييكم بتحية الإسلام I greet you with universal greeting of peace, love and mercy السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته All praise and thanks is due to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our creator, our cherisher, our nourisher and the sustainer of all the worlds Peace and blessings on our beloved Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam upon his family, his friends and all those who perpetuate with his propagation until the last day. Alhamdulillah, we find ourselves in this beautiful and blessed and Mubarak days of the first 10 days of the Hijjah. Wherein we remind ourselves of the life and the legacy of Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam especially or specifically when it comes to Hajj but for me one of the most important lessons that we learn from the life of Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam is the legacy that he left behind for his children for many of us um, our concern for our children is how much money they are going to make um, what the uh, um, job description would be in life. But have you ever thought what legacy, what lesson are we going to leave behind for our children? What teachings, what are our children one day going to say about us? You know, my parents taught me this, my parents taught me that, and this is the lesson that I would want to carry on uh, or carry over to my children. And so we are reminded in Surah Baqarah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ووصى بها إبراهيم بنيه ويعقوب يا بني إن الله اصطفى لكم الدين فلا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون The wasiyya, the advice that Nabi Ibrahim عليه السلام gives to his sons he says, In Allah astafa lakum al-deen, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen for you um, a deen, a faith. In Allah astafa lakum al-deen, fala tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. His main concern, Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam, his main concern was that after his demise, his children will continue worshipping Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and therefore he says to them فَلَا تَمُوتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ Do not leave this dunya, do not die except in a state of submission to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that legacy was something that continued from his children to his grandchildren because the next ayah says أَمْ كُنْتُمْ شُهَدَاءَ إِذْ حَضْرَ يَعْكُوبَ الْمَوْتِ that when Nabi Ibrahim's grandson, Nabi Yaqub, when he was lying on his deathbed, he calls his sons together. And what was the advice that he gave them? The exact same advice that Nabi Ibrahim salam, gave to his father, to Nabi Ishaq salam. So he says to his sons, Am kuntum shuhada it hadra ya'kub al mawtu it kala libanihi ma ta'buruna min ba'di. He says to his sons, or rather he asks them, Who or what are you going to worship after my demise? And their response was, Na'budu ilaha ka wa ilaha abaika ibrahim wa ismaila wa ishaqa ilaha wa hida wa nahnu lahu muslimun. We will worship the God or the Lord of of yourself of our father Yaqub, of ibrahim of ishaq and that is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa nahnu lahu muslimun and we will remain in submission to almighty allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so in conclusion my dear brothers and sisters in on these days these blessed days let us reflect on the teachings the lessons and the legacy that we want to leave behind for our children. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us to be of those who at all times submit to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may that legacy 
carry on with our children insha'Allah ta'ala. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.